morning and welcome to the Monday Morning Brief for December 28th. As the year draws to a close, we reflect on the top stories published in Lynn Stamp News in 2015. The United States Postal Service alienated collectors and customers when it was reported that three lucky collectors had received an upright Jenny Invert pane free. Compliments of the Postal Service. During 2015, it was revealed that PIMCO investment firm founder and philanthropist William H. Gross was a purchaser of the upright $2 Jenny Invert pain discovered in 2014 by David and Gail Robinson. Gross paid more than $51,000 for the pain. USPS Stamp Fulfillment Services Manager Khalid M. Hussein dealt a major blow to collectors when he unveiled a plan to put an end to moisture-activated adhesive on stamps, what collectors refer to as lick-and-stick stamps. But newly appointed acting stamp director Marianne Penner told Lenz she would like to see a return to suckable stamps. Stay tuned to see what happens in 2016. The copper printing plates used to print the 1847 Mauritius one penny and two penny post office stamps, the first colonial issues of the British Empire, were rediscovered by the family of tobacco industrialist and stamp collector Maurice Burris following the death of his niece Odile Burris. And Lynn's reported the recovery in late September of a block of three of the 1845 five cent New York Postmaster's provisional stamps. The block was, one part, was once part of a larger block of 10 that was stolen in 1977 from the acclaimed Benjamin K. Miller collection at the New York Public Library. While these stories and others captured national media attention, one story focused on the global spotlight on the world's most valuable stamp, the unique British Guiana 1856 one cent magenta. In June, it was disclosed that the world-renowned shoe designer Stuart Weitzman was the buyer who had paid almost $9.5 million for the iconic stamp at an auction held in June 2014 in New York. And looking to the new year, one of the top stories of 2016 promises to be the World Stamp Show, the once in a decade international stamp show that will take place in May in New York City. And taking pride of place among the exhibits at that show will be none other than the British Guiana 1856 one cent magenta. For the most up-to-date stamp news, visit lens.com and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. For Lens Stamp News and Scott Publishing, I'm Donna Hausman, wishing you a safe and happy new year. Enjoy your week in stamps. Mm -hmm.